Today we want to let our community know that Microsoft has initiated actions to protect its Halo intellectual property in wake of the recent El Dorito PC release. Well, how's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another commentary news update here and from the beginning of that statement, yes, it does not sound good for Halo Online El Dorito. Uh, version 0.6 that it sounds like Microsoft has taken actions against the game for people to stop downloading it not to stop playing it though just big and this is all just legal nonsense and uh, Microsoft stating that some of the uh, code and some of the content that's in the uh, Halo Online El Dorito mod is currently in use for or currently active for Microsoft Meaning that these are Microsoft assets you're you and you built something off of it without our consent So we have to shut this down now I'm sure somebody's hands were tied on making this decision because there's no money to be made off of this It's just a small group of guys who just want to play Halo 3 on PC and they decided to make a mod off of a game that was pretty much thrown away and not completely cancelled just put on indefinite hiatus which is effectively cancel. This dev team saw an opportunity and they decided to make the mod El Dorito 0.6 for Halo Online. So without, but they did it without any consent from Microsoft or 343. So, I mean, I would think that people at 343 are probably excited about this. You know, there's been a lot of great news and hype. People talking about Halo, people playing Halo again. Hell, I think I saw Halo Online as the top 10 game streamed on, on, on Twitch, which is Amazing if you saw my ninja saves uh, halo video, you know that twitch streaming has a huge effect on a game and its success And they, I think even summit 1g streamed halo online, which is freaking awesome I've been seeing uh, another guy named Jericho. He's been streaming it quite often. He usually hovers around uh, Two to three thousand viewers at one point, which is pretty damn good for halo for a single individual just playing the game that's rather nice. Oh, right, it's important to know that uh, they're not shutting down the mod or going after the El Dorito people. They're just enacting the removal of the hosting of Halo Online options to download it. So if you're trying to rush in and download it right now, it's not possible that it's already been taken in place. So there's no cease and desist, no DMCA, just a brief conversation telling them, hey, Stop it. But what does this mean for the future of El Dorito and Halo Online? It's rather uncertain right now. Uh, right now, it's, you know, this just happened like hours ago. So uh, the details have not been fully worked out. Right now, 343 and Microsoft, it's basic. I should say, I should say just Microsoft has uh, gone to the El Dorito crew and said, hey, stop that right now. You're using our assets without our permission. Stop, <laughs> stop hosting this game so people can download it. And so the El Dorito team was like, okay, fine, just don't just don't sue us into the ground, basically. And so what does it mean for you, the player? Uh, this means, does this mean you can't play the game anymore? No, absolutely. You can keep playing the game all you want. You can keep creating Forge maps. You can keep uh, playing the game as much as you like. Uh, just that uh, there's no way to download this game anymore. And then it sounds like what they might try to do is remove the, I guess, copywritten or assets from Microsoft out of the game and then put in just the like openware version that's still available for everyone to play around with that's what made it sound like at least when i was reading this maybe not so but if you're one of the few people who the early birds who got jumped on the bag wagon to play this game you're the lucky ones you get to keep playing it uh right now nobody else really has the opportunity to play it so I don't think this has any issues with content creators or streamers as well. I mean, I've made a few videos on uh, on Halo Online. I think my uh, how to install Halo Online video is pushing like 6,000 views. I haven't heard anything from 343. And uh, I think it's like the top video that comes up when it comes up how to install the game. And so um, I haven't heard anything from 343, so I don't think any content creators are going to get an issue, any streamers are going to be an issue. issue. Uh, it's just that Microsoft just strips told El Dorito team like, stop hosting that game. Make sure people can't download it anymore. So that's pretty much the news right now. My opinion, ultimately, is yeah, I can see Microsoft's point on this one, but it's kind of like a come on, man. Like we were having so much fun. People were enjoying it so much. Like it was the first like genuinely positively received uh, topic of discussion when it came to Halo. 
I haven't had that in such a long time. <laughs> Everything's been such a mixed bag, so much uh, discussion and controversy and just like, you know, uh, just people just having arguments. This is the first time we've had just a general, just community getting together and being like, you know what, Halo was freaking awesome. And then Microsoft had to come in and just stop it, right? As it was, sorry, my dude. So I can see why Microsoft did it. They uh, have the legal obligation and they're using assets that were not given permission by Microsoft. So yeah, that would happen. But it's like a come on moment. Like they're not making any money off of this. They're only, <laughs> they're only giving great press to Halo. Oh God. Dear God, Microsoft ever gets any good press for Halo. So I'm gonna still keep on playing it. I'll still keep on streaming it for sure. So if you wanna catch, catch, catch my streams, link is in the description down below. And you'll be seeing more content for me, but it'll probably be more uh, just general content, not necessarily any more tutorial stuff since not many, there's the, the cut, people have been cut off from it. There's no more downloads of this game. So there's not gonna be any more new people coming to the game. So I won't be able to really provide much more new player content. This is kind of what my focus of my channel has been. I'll still keep streaming it, still keep making content on it. Still looking forward to uh, playing it more for sure. Everyone leave a comment down below. I do want to know what your opinions are in the situation. Just don't bash 343 on this. Like I guarantee you this is not 343's doing, this is Microsoft's doing. And even then like it was just like some automatic legal hand of, you know, handed down from people that just don't care. Um, just don't bash 343 on this man like There's no point. I mean the El Dorito teams like just don't harass the 343 people like just don't It gets us nowhere when you do that uh, But just you know, can you understand Microsoft's point of view why shutting it down? Are you bummed like me that no more no more people will be able to experience the awesomeness of Halo online? Or you're just kind of like well, it was fun while it lasted. But anyways guys. Thank you so much for watching I greatly appreciate it if you're new to the channel, make sure to tap the subscribe button with notifications let you know every time I upload an awesomeness to this channel, which is every time. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.